Hi, you are listening to KV Talks. This is Vivian. Today we're gonna talk about understand your customer avatar. Um, so what is a customer avatar? It's kind of like your ideal client. Um, ideally, when you do prospecting, it's one on one, right? So you want to treat your customer avatar as a one person, so that you're not confused. It's not a group of people that you're. Writing your avatar as was a person. Give them a name, a gender, occupation, uh, education, uh, social status. Roughly about uh, the the kind of demographic that you are attracting, or those people who may be interested in your uh, solution and product. And to do that, it's really helpful if you.、Um, You know how they do Facebook Insight to get the basic、um, psychographic and、uh, demographic、uh, stat from that, and from then on, you also、uh, may want to、uh, check out some、um, similar web or other social media.、Um, A、social media artist site where you can learn about where your customer mainly come from. Because from similar web, you can know that maybe majority of them come from YouTube, or maybe majority of them come from Facebook. And you will know like what keyword is actually going to be ranked top for them, and um. And so, from the keywords, you kind of know what kind of problem they are trying to solve, or what kind of concern they have, or what are their particular interest in the topic. And of course, you also can go on Quora and and Reddit to look at the type of question people are asking for that topic. So that you can create a solution based on the need of the customer, and psychographic come important in how you approach someone,、um, because when you address somebody pain point, it's more likely they're going to listen to you. So someone who have a family, it's easy to appeal to them that they need to take care. Of the children' education, therefore they need to make sure they have a good source of income, and then you can sell them the income opportunity. Now, understand the psychographic of the customer does not mean it gives you the right to manipulate the data, but you can appeal to the legit reason why they may have that concern, and so. Use psychology carefully when you doing marketing, because it can be very powerful. Only do it ethically. So why do you want to create an effort to lay that? Because you need to, when you create the product and solution, you need to have the customer in mind, and when you're not clear who that. Person, that one person avatar is, it's really hard for you to tailor your solution according to need. And when you're not calling out to a specific kind of avatar, they feel like you're just hitting the mass or like a random message. They don't identify with you. They don't resonate with you. But as soon as you call out to them like the specific thing that identify and resonate with them, then they come out. They come. They feel like they're being heard, understood. So that's why you need to identify your ideal customer as one single person. You want to answer all those. After the question, as though you're the person who is filling that out, you're the prospect, you're the offerer, as we know. 
Try to go into the shoes of your ideal customer. How would they answer? How would they react? Not how would you react, but how would they react? Sometimes you are not your best customer. The other time you are your own avatar. Depends on what you sell. And it's a lot easier to be your own avatar than be somebody else's avatar. Anyway. So this kind of conclude the episode about understand your customer after. If you need more help, just go to vivianso dot com or dmastermindvalley dot com and leave me a message or book a, you know, book a call with me and we can go over some stuff. Until then, see you.